Printing the last page, a historic Fort Wayne newspaper's future could be in jeopardy. All because a former temporary employee of Frost Illustrated. Investigators say Rosaline Taylor is accused of writing thousands of dollars worth of stolen checks from the publication's account. Now that account's frozen and the publication's founder is left trying to save his paper. Closed for repair. After 40 some years, this may just, just be the straw that broke our back. Frost Illustrated is a newspaper primarily focusing on African-American news that Edward Smith began in 1968 during one of the most volatile years of the civil rights movement. It's very important we have our own megaphone, so to speak. Recently, Frost, like other newspapers across the country, has had trouble with advertising. And when Rosaline Taylor was hired for two weeks as a secretary last year, their financial problem got worse when Smith says she cleaned his office and found his checkbook. She had to look for those checks and find them. And when I found this out, I immediately, the next day, went to the bank. According to a police report, Smith lost a little more than $5,000, but says the overdraft fee associated with the checks has brought the damage up to nearly $14,000. That's a lot of money for a small company like, like Frost. The report says Taylor cashed 16 of Smith's checks at three different places that all lost money. Taylor is accused of cashing some of those checks at this market, totaling around $2,500. A loss that's come down hard on Smith and his publication. Our bank account is frozen and we got to July the 15th to get it straightened out. Or else they won't be able to write any more checks from Frost, meaning the newspaper won't be able to be printed. Smith says he's hoping to fundraise to get some of the money back, but isn't sure if this is the end of the road for a 46-year staple in Fort Wayne. I, I hope not. A warrant was issued for Taylor's arrest today. She's being charged with four counts of forgery and two counts of theft. Bond has been set for $10,000.